Hey everybody, welcome back to Walker Family Works. I'm Will. Today we're out in the wood yard, um, getting through, going to do a little wood yard update as well as a mail call. And then we're, we're going to show off the rugged made four way mod that we did to the yard max splitter. So from here, this is the season pile that we got a little more than half a cord. I want to throw a massive shout out to my, my stepdad and my mom. Uh, they came down uh, to help out. Got a full cord split and stacked in here. I already had a third of that over there split and stacked, but they filled it in as well as got this filled up. And then got a full cord of bulk wood plus some extra ready to go. So that's what we got. For those of you that remember the backlog of material that I had here to split through, we have severely dwindled it. Today I'm gonna to be splitting this here red oak. There is some maple mixed in here that uh, my stepdad didn't pull out. So we're gonna get that pulled out and go from there. We got these big, big maple rounds to bust up in the future. Got more scraps to handle. Probably get some of that loaded up in the dump trailer today, as well as this pile of scraps. And then a little bit of ash left in here. So we're going to get all that knocked out. We'll go from there. I'm going to show uh, the, the two-way, initially two-way, um, since I got some big kind of gnarly stuff that I want to get through. And then I'm going to put the four-way back on. Eventually, I need to trim this down to adequate length and get that set up to go. But yeah, lots to do. So first thing we're going to talk about is the Rugged Made four-way. I did this mod on video. The one thing I didn't is the new detent short stroking kit. How I ended up doing that is just took some flat steel 3 8 kind of cut it down and held it so that way I could bring it down since as you'll see it'll trip here versus back in here. So that severely limited the stroke um, to make things faster. Um, it's not the best method. Um, I got it held on with C-clamps currently to prevent it from sliding out but it works I'll show you it's down to probably about six seconds out and back um, and that's every second counts the first one we got is everything Elliot Elliot's awesome I met him at Brad at the fellowship at the furnace I'm just barely getting around to uh, getting these stickers put on uh, hopefully they they stick decent um, since they didn't happen to go through the washer. We're going to put Elliot right there. Next one's WD-30. Uh, everyone knows WD-30. He's a great guy. We all give him crap for being short, but that's the name of the game. I'm gonna put WD right there. Next one's Jake and Chris at Dude Ranch DIY. Met them at the fellowship as well. Um, real awesome. We got a Easton made 2228 with attached conveyor. Really, really sweet machine. Didn't get to get any video of me running it. Pop Jake and Chris right up in here. One of my local guys just recently started a channel, Camps Corners. Uh, he's, he's only about a half hour from me. Garrett, really, really good guy. Does a lot of really, really cool stuff. He's the guy who brought the tractor, tractor with the huge bucket um, to the Hope event last year. Um, please go check out his channel if I can get his sticker off. Because again, it went through the wash. Not there. Went through the wash because I was extremely tired and not paying attention after smoking all of the meat for the fellowship. 
kind of antisocial at the event because I was so tired. But got to meet a lot of cool people. We're almost there. Almost got it, Garrett. Almost got it. That's a serious sticker, man. Things gonna last forever. Sorry, I'm kind of covering up the corner of yours, Kent. There was more. Where'd they go? I've had this sticker since the Hope event. I haven't had a chance to put it on, though. Outside with Shibe. Legend. I only make one Don Shibe in his roadside logging. This is the first time I, I met, met Jeff at uh, the Fellowship as well. He is a great guy from up near me, sort of. Does a lot of really cool stuff on his channel. Has some used to meet equipment. There we go. A lot of new additions. Got Jake and Chris, Dude Ranch DIY, Jack, Ken and Ken's Cuts, Everything Elliot, Camps Corners. WD-30, outside with Shibe, and Adirondack Woodsman, as well as the, the others. York Firewood, Jeff and Patty, Mountaintop, Tony up at TC's, Brad, Firewood Furnace, Dick at Old Guy Firewood. And one extra one that I got to show that got tagged. Heath, slipped that one in there at the fellowship. Real good time. And the last one is Jay, the premier Iowa tree surgeon. Met him at the uh, fellowship event. There we go. Now we got them all added on. Okay. So now we're gonna take the, uh, the wings off of the four-way wedge um, and get ready to bust up some of this bigger stuff. Actually, I got a couple little pieces. So I'll fire it up, let the uh, equipment warm up, and then uh, we'll run these couple little pieces through and then uh, get it ready to go. Catch in a bit once the equipment warms up. That's the one downside to it.
Yeah, that's about all the uh, kind of odd pieces that I got here that I can split with a four-way. So I'm going to take the wings off real quick and then uh, continue splitting some of this, this other gnarlier stuff that's right here. All right. Be back in a few. All right, now we're going to use the single way wedge. After I switched it over, so it's the first time I've used it this way, so we'll see how it goes. All right, everyone, I put the four-way back on because I'm going to be splitting a bunch of uh, red oak about this size. So the four-way will definitely help make it easier. Only one throw of the, of the wedge. So we'll get started.
secret to get this forway to work right is you have to keep it off the deck, otherwise it'll pinch underneath the wings. Definitely figured that out. You do that, it'll split cleanly every time and won't pinch. Thought it was gonna make a liar out of me. Well, everyone, we ran into a small problem. What happened was the return bar hit the detent. Something got under it and it flipped it and it flipped it up like this, which put all that tension on the C-clamp and pop. Everything appears to be okay. It's a tremendous amount of force because uh, this 3 8 piece of steel is no longer straight. So, So we are going to have to go back to the drawing board um, for how to put a short cycle kit on the Yardmax splitter. Choices are short stroke kit because the wings on the wedge won't go in between the split or the strippers. So I can either I have two choices. I can cut the strippers off, which that's not a big ordeal, um, or I can take the wings off and run it as a two-way wedge, um, which it's still infinitely better than the original design on this yard max, but then it'll be able to cycle all the way back in. And I believe, um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. We did get a nice cart full of red oak. So we're going to go stack that, but that will do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. And again, I'm Will with Walker Family Works. Have a good one. Little tractor for the win, Brandon. <laughs>